Exactly. Gosh, there's so much, now we have so much history of the characters. Like I remember sitting in this chair and people would say, well, what do you think about Beth's, you know, what is happening in her life and who was she? And I remember I didn't have all those answers before. Mm. I was like, I'm still being surprised every time I get a script. And it's, it's funny now that I can look and say, yeah, I know so much more about her now, you know, in season four. I know yeah. so much about, you know, these characters' histories and, and so the future is more of a mystery to me now, but, but who she is is much firmer in, in, in me now than it was before. I love that Dan continues to take these really wonderful chances, mm -hmm. like these big swings. And, and, and what I mean by like the, the, the season premiere, um, introducing like three people who we didn't know, but then hoping that folks would stick with us mm -hmm. to see the payoff, right? Mm -hmm. I love that he'll do individualized episodes that may focus on Jack and Rebecca in the past, or may focus on one of the big three. Like he doesn't feel like he has to use everybody in every episode so that the stories, when we do talk about each other, they get a chance to go a little bit deeper. Um, I think that like the constant playing with the format while you're necessarily gonna get that, that emotion that you're accustomed to from This Is Us, I think it keeps people on their toes and be like, all right, what are they gonna do next? Because mm -hmm. there'll be like three or four that are sort of like standard and then something will happen different. And then some people will be like, where are, you know, mm -hmm. Beth and Randall? Oh, mm -hmm. But then other people will be like, yeah, I'm glad we got a chance to delve into this story. And, and our audience has been really patient with us because I think ultimately they know they're gonna get their money's worth. I think, you know, probably the most excited person on every, any given day about the storyline is Dan Fogelman. I love just watching him tell us about storylines. Yeah. Because the excitement in his whole being makes you excited to just keep doing it. Absolutely. And it's like, all right, if he's still excited. Yeah, so excited. Then I think uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be, okay. be all right. I go into the writer's room all the time all the time, because I'm fascinated to see the level of care and scrutiny that they have for each character. There are people who are so protective of these characters, of the Pearsons and their extended family, that it's a really wonderful thing to know that like, when these things show up in our hands, they've been thought out and critiqued and sort of like folks have come together to be like, all right, this is what we want to present to you mm -hmm. now. So I go in there all the time. I like everybody will ask me like, what's going on? I'm like, oh yeah, I know what's going on. Because yeah. um, talking about me. Yeah. I feel like all the time. I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah. It's nice. It's it's nice to know what the arc is individually and as for the show because it kind of helps you sort of know where you fit into the whole thing. And, and sometimes for me, it's uh, walking into Dan's office and yeah. just being like, hey, Dan, what's up? What's going to happen? You know, or, or it's getting a script and finding out then it's a little bit of both or Dan coming on set and saying, but, but there is an open door policy with us um, and the writer's room yeah. and uh, Dan that to feel free to come and just explore. I mean, it's the work that we're doing together and right. there's a collaborative nature in that way. There's gonna be some surprises. Um, I think there's a, a really interesting thing when we get into episode 412, which is 12. Kate's episode, and you see some things from her past which sort of illuminate who she is in the present. And may I also add that I think it is directed by one Justin Hartley. Oh, so and Justin so Hartley. I'm very excited to see how really he cool. brought it to me. <laughs> 